Welcome to Sparks in the Streets. My name is Ruven Brand. Today is a significant date on the Jewish calendar because today is Sunday, Yom Rishon, the first day of the week in which Tisha B'Av falls. The Mishnah in Ma'ena Maseches Tanis and the Gemara refer to this period, to this week, beginning today, as Shavua Shechal Bo Tisha B'Av, the week in which Tisha B'Av falls. And therefore, the Gemara has specific, long-standing stringencies, which even though for many of us as Ashkenazim, we began these stringencies about haircutting or showering or other restrictions either three weeks prior or certainly at the beginning of the nine days, but this week, according to the Gemara, is the most intensive period. And therefore, for Sephardic Jews, who perhaps had certain leniencies last week, not so today. Today begins the period of Shavua Shachalba, which according to the mission in the Gemara, that's the primary time of mourning, the expressions of Avelis. And why is this so? What's significant about this? Because at the beginning of the week, that's when we orient ourselves, when we focus on what's upcoming. So for example, on Saturday night, when we conclude Mariv, we begin the week with, with songs, tfilos, about Elio Anavi, about the redemption, about brachos and blessings for the new week, because we're focused on what's coming this week. We say to Hashem, Ribbono Shololam, give us blessings, give, a, give us good tidings, because we're looking at this coming week. What's on the schedule? And if there's a holiday, then we skip the Noam, the passage that we say on Saturday night, because we don't say Masyadenu, the work of our hands, because this week we're not going to be doing work because there's a holiday. This week we have another type of holiday, a holiday of catastrophe of mourning of Tisha B'Av. And so now as we begin the week, we orient ourselves to that. The reasons why we don't have hair cutting or laundry is because we don't want to be distracted from our focus. Our focus is the loss of the Beis HaMikdash, the struggles that we face as a Jewish people and as individuals with the hiddenness of God's face. So today and right now is our time to refocus over the coming days on what we have lost and what we are mourning on Tisha B'Av. And halavai mirz Hashem, kolom sabal al Yerushalayim zolcha v'roh b'sem chaso. If we focus on that loss, what we are missing without the base of Mikdash, without the presence of God, halavai we should be zolcha to see the return of His presence and the base of Mikdash in our day.